Who? What's going on, gamers? Frank the Tank here, back on another episode of the Pittsburgh Pirates franchise here on MLB 15 The Show. And today we bring you the Pittsburgh Pirates owning a 10 and 7 record, visiting the Arizona Diamondbacks, who are 9 and 7 at Chase Field. Now, today you will see Sonny Gray on the mound for the Pittsburgh Pirates. I wanted to bring you the Sonny Gray gameplay last episode. He is our big acquisition in the offseason, and that video got corrupted somehow, so I brought you the AJ Burnett gameplay. But today we're back with Sonny Gray, and he definitely will not disappoint during this video. So today you're going to see Sonny Gray, the right-hander. He is 0-2 with a 4.26 ERA. We hope to turn that around today. Uh, he has his work cut out for him going against Jeremy Hellickson, who is 2-0 on the young season. There you see Clint Hurdle in the Pirates dugout ready for today's game. And going over the Pirates lineup a little bit, we see Gregory Polanco struggling with a 206 average right now. Alvarez, 241, that's actually decent for him. But I think when I sim a lot of the games, uh, the players' averages tend to stay a little lower and stats in general. Uh, you can see Jeremy Hellickson, 2-0 on the season with a 1.57 ERA. So the Pirates definitely have their work cut out for him. And we want to get to Hellickson early, get him out of the game, and tap into their bullpen. So we'll see if the Pirates can turn it around here today and get their 11th win of the season. So we're going to lead off the game with Starling Marte. He has a 2-1 count in the top of the first inning. We guess that pitch low, and Marte is going to smack that pitch into center field for a leadoff single. Always good to see Marte get on base. He is up in the leadoff spot since Josh Harrison went down with that head injury. So we have Gregory Polanco batting second. We stole second with Marte, and Polanco smacks a single into right field. And we're not going to test it so early with no outs, so we're going to have first and third up. For Andrew McCutcheon, we don't want to run ourselves into an out at home plate. And McCutcheon early on has an 0-1 count with Polanco on first, Marte on third. The pitch, McCutcheon crushes one to left center field. That ball is back, and it is gone. So Andrew McCutcheon with a three-run homer in the top of the first, and the Pirates jump out to a 3-0 lead. Jeremy Hellickson with that low ERA. It's very, very good to touch him up early and try to get him out of the game. And Andrew McCutcheon with his 7th home run of the year and his 18th RBI, which leads the team, of course. And the Pirates are off to a great start this afternoon. As you can see, we have Sonny Gray on the hill today. We have one out in the bottom of the first. And that's strike three looking for Chris Owings, that two-seam fastball on the outside corner. Bottom of the second, one-two count. Mark Trumbo goes fishing for a curveball, and he is out as well. And Sonny Gray pitched great this game. Here we have another 0-2 count. And David Peralta also goes fishing for that curveball. Francisco Cervelli on to Alvarez to complete the strikeout. So in two innings, Sonny Gray has three strikeouts. So he is off to a great start. We have here the bottom of the third, a 1-2 count. And Sonny Gray gets Gerald Layard on that curveball once again. And nothing really going on this game so far. Sonny Gray here again with Paul Goldschmidt, and he goes fishing on that 12-6 curve as well. Sonny Gray pitching an absolute gem, and he also has a perfect game to this point. Bottom of the fifth, Mark Trumbo up, and the very borderline two-seam fastball. Trumbo, very disciplined, he takes, and that will end the perfect game bid for Sonny Gray. So we have a 3-1 count here, and Aaron Hill will single, excuse me, Jared Laird will single up the middle and the run will score. So that takes away Sonny Gray's no hitter and also takes away the shutout. But we are still up 3 2 1. So in the top of the seventh, Pirates looking to add some insurance. One, we have Francisco Cervelli at the plate. The pitch, and he smacks a single into right field. So we have Cervelli on with Steve Lombardozzi coming up to the plate. Lombardozzi is playing third as Josh Harrison is out for three to four weeks. Pitch out Lombardozzi. It's a weak grounder up the middle, finds a hole, and we have runners on first and second. No outs in this inning, so the Pirates are looking to add some insurance runs. And let's see if Jordy Mercer can help this inning and keep us going. He gets a pitch. He smacks it into left field, right past the diving third baseman, and we have bases loaded. So bases loaded, Sonny Gray actually strikes out, which is probably best for the situation. So we have one out with Starling Marte at the plate, looking for him to put one into play. He hits a ball into semi-moderate yeah, right center field. 
Cervelli on third, not so much speed, but we tag anyway, and a terrible throw helps Cervelli score, so the Pirates add an insurance run and go up 4-1 to one in the ball game. Now here we have a 3-2 pitch, one out. It's Aaron Hill at the plate, and that is ball four, gets to the backstop. Here we're in the bottom of the seventh, and that's going to do it for Sonny Gray. He goes six and a third, only gives up two hits two runs or one run excuse me and seven strikeouts so we pull Sonny Gray great performance after the way he struggled early on in his first two starts so the Pirates are going to call on Jared Hughes to try to wiggle us out of this inning and see if we can get on to the eighth to hand the ball to Tony Watson we have a run off first here Gerald Laird Hughes leaves one up and Gerald Laird crushes it to left field that ball is gone a two run homer and the Pirates are only up four to three. The Diamondbacks cut the lead to only one run, and that's very disappointing. One of those runs gets charged to Sonny Gray, so he does finish the day with two earned runs, but Hughes can't hang his head for long. Still has to try to get it out here. 0 2 pitch, and he strikes out Jake Lamb on that sinker in the dirt. So we do go to the top of the eighth here. You see the replay of Gerald Laird's home run. Crushed it, nothing we could do about it. But we got to try to add some more insurance runs now that our lead is only one run. So here we have Andrew McCutcheon, 0 1 count in the eighth. He smacks a single into right or left center field, excuse me. And McCutcheon's not stopping at first. He rounds, he slides head first. He is safe into second base. So Andrew McCutcheon with the leadoff double in the top of the eighth. And we need to bring that run in to try to get another insurance run. Heart of the order here, Neil Walker, the cleanup hitter. McCutcheon was moved up to third, and we have one out. Let's see if Walker can try to get McCutcheon over. And Walker smacks one into left field. McCutcheon is tagging. The catch, the throw is way offline. McCutcheon would have been there anyway, and the Pirates jump up to a 5-3 to three lead. So we brought Tony Watson in for the eighth, and Archimedes Caminero comes in for the ninth because Mark Melanson was unavailable for rest today. He induces the fly ball to left field, and the Pittsburgh Pirates will take this one here in Arizona by a score of 5-3. to three. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more MLB 15 The Show content. And we will have a little recap leading into the next video of the Pirates season so far. Thanks for watching.